This story isn't about dance. This story is about living in peace, living in freedom of choices, allowing yourself to choose for yourself, cleaning yourself from external influences. When we are born, we grow up with values and information that are given to us. Unconsciously, we save them as our identity. And that is human. That is okay. But it doesn't mean that this information is about us. It is just information that surrounds us because we are born into a certain environment. It is our life's purpose to clean up all this information projected on us, to get to know the sense of who we really are. I loved being outside, training outside, with friends. Yeah, I feel like a monster. And I'm just here to haunt you. I've become your nightmare, slipping in your dreams. I'm the definition of the worst kind of me. I always love to move, to sweat, to compete, to play. After every training, my body was filled with dopamine from the combination of fresh air and sports. The environment felt safe. The community consisted of 100% academics. It was the right place to be. It was a happy and peaceful world where conversations consisted of real estate, wine spritzer, and the next World Cup. And I was good at it. Too good to consider a different sport. When I quit, people didn't understand. How could I? But just because you're good at something, doesn't mean it fulfills you 100%. Dance had always been a passion. At every school event, I performed with my friends for fun. But training intensively, like I did in hockey, was never an option. They said, the hip-hop environment was not the right one. To be honest, back then I didn't think about being an artist. I was told any type of art would mean financial insecurity. I felt I was not creative enough. I was just focused on training, not on creating. However, community has always been what has uplifted me. <sighs> Every human is a creator. But society has made us machines, thinking rationally. We have lost our ability to trust in the sense of nature and the talent that has been given to us. It has become a hard job to invite intuition back into our lives. To me, dance is not a sport. It is really just art. The side effect of sweating while working on a choreography 
is just like the extra shot of dopamine you're blessed with. But the main fulfillment comes from creating. Creating choreography and then also sharing and seeing it performed by others. Beautiful, different bodies. Every body type has something individual to offer and that is special. It really doesn't matter to me who is dancing the choreography. If I feel the energy floating through their bodies, it's what makes me so happy. When I realized I wanted to make dance a profession, I had many fears. Where should all the technique come from? How can I compete with dancers that have been trained in dance throughout the whole time I had been honing my hockey skills? I mean, I started when I was 23 years old. But I kept repeating the sentence It is never too late. It is never too late. Just go in your own tempo, but go consistently. Also appreciating all my other skills I gathered on my journey has helped me to keep going. Realizing that everything I have learned until now in life wasn't useless. I don't have high legs, but I have strong legs that can jump, for example. Instead of criticizing the past, thinking how I can combine it a different way, creating something unique. Being an artist feels like adding more love to the world. I see myself in the responsibility to inspire others, to discover their inner light, their own craft, because everyone has it. Even if your profession is not in the field of art, you can still be an artist, the artist of your own life. It's not about how you make your money, but being the artist of your life comes with more love, intuition and free choices. Because the choices you make will always be for yourself. And the great thing is we can always do it together. Because in the end it's all about exchanging energy and love. <laughs> 